Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about what is organic matter. So if you're a non-farmer and you say, um, organic matter, isn't that just the stuff that's laying on top of the, the surface of the soil? We want to clear up any confusion on this and let you know, nope, the stuff you see on top of the ground is not organic matter. Well, when you talk about organic matter, we're talking about plant and animal residues that are decayed in the soil. So the plant residue that's laying on top of the ground right now, that is organic material. Once it decays and gets down into the soil, then it can be organic matter, but chances are only about 10% of the residue that's on top of the ground is ever going to become organic matter. Okay, so with organic matter, and the reason why it's so important to farmers, it does a lot of good things. We want to have a fair amount of organic matter in the soil. Ideally, I'd like to see 5% or 6% organic matter in my soil. It basically makes my soil a little more cushiony if I can use that term, kind of like a sponge too, and that it can absorb water and nutrients early in the season or you know at different times of the year and then release the water and nutrients when your crop needs it. For every 1% of organic matter in soil, a soil has approximately 4% more water holding capacity. It also, for every 1% of organic matter in the soil, will release for free 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen, four to seven pounds of phosphate, and two to three pounds of sulfur for free every year. It's a great deal as that organic matter slowly breaks down over a long period of time. Well, organic matter is definitely great for crops and for soil, but it's also great for the little microbes that live in the soil. And that's probably the big thing. It's probably the big reason why all these good things happen because that's the home for these little microbes. And they're gonna just slowly break down some of that organic matter throughout the season, releasing nutrients while they're getting their food for their bodies too. Okay, so you've heard us talk a little about organic matter. We haven't even talked about all the benefits. And you say, well, boy, that sounds great. Why wouldn't every farmer try to build the organic matter in his soil? Well, here's what it takes to do that. You have to reduce tillage. You have to plant crops with lots of roots. Corn, for example, has five times the root mass of soybeans on average. You also would want to use manure, use some natural products. We use quick roots on our farm, beneficial bacteria and fungi, and maybe use some cover crops. So a lot of these things are practices that many farmers are doing, but not every farmer is doing that. If we want to do conventional tillage, for example, the problem with tillage is it injects so much air into the soil, it burns up organic matter quickly, and organic matter can actually start to be depleted over time instead of built up. Well, organic matter is a great thing in soil and it does take some effort and some time to get it to build up, but the benefits are certainly there for the soil, for the environment, and for the farmer too. Well, whether you have low organic matter or high organic matter in your soil, you'll probably still be dealing with our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show. <laughs> 